right, today we're going to see can the Mac Studio with the M1 Ultra compete with an RTX 3090 like Apple are saying. Well, let's find out. We're also going to see the power draw, which is going to be very interesting. And this is your chance to let me know down there in the comments, what do you want tested on this Mac Studio? I'll be comparing it to an RTX 3090 12900K. If you want me to compare it to an AMD 5950 and 6900 XT, let me know or do you want me more to compare it with the macbook pro laptop i'm gonna try and get these videos up as quick as i can so make sure you subscribe follow me on twitter hit that bell ding a ling a dong let's get going what have i got here connected to this qd oled monitor i actually do have a video with the macbook pro connected to this monitor this destroys the apple studio display i mean 175 hertz qd oled hdr 1000 nits peak brightness it is wolf 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 it is amazing on the left hand side we have the m1 ultra so apple did say that it was as fast as an rtx 3090 or actually faster I think they were being clever with their charts. I think they were saying at the same sort of wattage. But anyway, let's find out. So this is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, exactly the same settings. And what's super interesting about this is the amount of power draw we're going to get. Already, we can see here, we're nearly using 400 watts on the 3090. It's not really doing much. I mean, it is running in the background of the game, but already 400 watts the GPU. Over here, 72 watts on the CPU. I put this to stock, it can go faster, okay? Now below the Mac Studio display, you've got a watt meter, okay? And it's using 112 watts at the moment versus the best part of 470 watts, right? So 112 versus 470. Now let's see what happens when we game. And also you can tell the difference between QD OLED and the LED display. Let's do it.
Anyway, that is it. It's not going to touch a 3090. I was actually expecting a bit more to be perfectly frank, but um, it can't touch it in Blender. It can't touch it in gaming. We'll have to find something where it's 100% optimized to see how it goes against a 3090. And what do you expect? It's using like one fifth of the power, something like that. So there you go, shock horror, Tom Warren posted this, I think it's from The Verge Review, and yeah, the 3090 absolutely destroys the Studio Max or Ultra, that is what it is, uh, catch you in the next one, tally ho.